Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The graphs of f and g are given as we can see here on the following picture. So part A state the values of f of negative 4 and g of 3. The purpose of this exercise is how we can extract information from the graph of a function. Okay. Let us try to find f of negative 4. Okay. First locate the x equals negative 4. So this is x equals 0. x equals negative 4 will be 4 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's x equals negative 4. And then for this x equals negative 4, find a point on the graph that has negative 4 as its x coordinate. So that's this is the point on the graph. This is the points on the graph which has x equal negative 4 as its x coordinate. And then to find the value of f at x equal negative 4, what we need to do is to look at the y coordinate of this point. So the y coordinate of this point is two units down from the origin which is negative 2. Therefore, for part A we know that f of negative 4 equals negative 2. Okay, the next one we would like to find g of 3 as what we did before. So we locate the x equal 3. So this is x equal 3. And then find the point on the graph which has 3 as its x-coordinate. So this is the point on the graph which has 3 as its x-coordinate. And then find the corresponding y-coordinate. So this is the y-coordinate. And we can count it is 1, 2, 3, 4 units from the origin, which means that g of 3 equals 4. Okay, next question. For what values of x is f of x equals g of x? Basically, this asking what is the x coordinate when f and g intersects? Okay, so f and g intersects exactly at these two points. And the x coordinate of these two points is so the first one has x coordinate negative two, and for the second point, it has x coordinate x equal two. Okay, so when x equal when x equals negative two, or x equals to f of x equals g of x. The next one. Estimate the solution of the equation f of x equals negative 1. So f of x tells us the y-coordinate of a point on the graph of f. So we want to find first a point on the graph of f which has negative 1 as its y-coordinate. So first, this is exactly y equals negative 1 and the point at which the y coordinate the point on the graph of f at which the y coordinate is negative 1 is exactly this point okay so to find the value of x so that f of x equals negative 1 is the same thing as to find the x coordinate of this point and the x coordinate of that point is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So the answer for part C is x equals negative 3. The next problem, part D. On what interval is f decreasing? Okay, so we assume that the domain of f is only from negative 4 to 4 and 
we cannot extend the function all the way to the right or all the way to the left of negative 4. Okay, so by assuming that, then we can see that f is decreasing starting from x equal 0 all the way up to x equal 4. In the interval notation, we can write that f is decreasing on this interval from 0 to 4. Part E. State the domain and range of f. Okay, the domain of f is exactly all possible x coordinate of all points on the graph of f. And the domain then is from x equal negative 4 until x equal 4. So domain of f. And the range of f is all possible y coordinates of points on the graph of f. We can see that the minimum y we can have is y equals negative 2 and the maximum y that we can have is y equal 3. Okay. And for any other y in between negative 2 and 3 there is a corresponding point on the graph of f. So it means that the range of f is from negative 2 up to 3. The last problem. State the domain and range of g. Again, the domain of g are all possible x coordinate of all points on the graph of g. So the x coordinate of points on the graph of g is from negative 4 up to 3. Domain of g is negative 4 up to 3. Now what is the range of g? The range of g are all possible values for the y coordinate of points on the graph of g. So the minimum one is, so say this is one half, and the y coordinate of g can achieve y equal 4. And for all numbers in between 1 half and 4, there is a corresponding points on the graph of G. So it means that the range of G are all values between 1 half and 4. Okay, sometimes for the domain and range, we use different variables. So in the set notation this is all x so that x is between negative 4 and 4 and for this one usually for the range we use the variable y so all y so y is between negative 2 and 3 and we can write the same similar set notation for the domain and the range of G.